Hi there and welcome back. This week I decided to take a break from painting Tyranids and decided to crack open my Tau Combat Patrol which I purchased from eBay from someone who apparently won the box but didn't actually want the models so sold them. I've had the box for a few months now and I just couldn't decide on what colour scheme to go with. I do like the box art, kind of white armour, but I wanted to try something a little bit different. So after doing a little bit of research online, I finally decided to go with a kind of black smoky armour. And I wanted to go with some kind of accent colour as well. But I just couldn't decide on exactly what the accent colour should be. So I decided to paint up three of the stealth battlesuit units and paint them up with three different accent colours so that I could decide which one I like best in the end. With the idea being that these would be kind of test models that would help me refine the process before I paint the entire army. But enough about that, let's get into the painting. So firstly I'm going to prime the model in black and then I'm going to give it a zenithal spray of Skaven Blight Dinge. And if you don't have Skaven Blight Dinge, you can just use any dark grey you want here. And I'm just going to go in from the top and at 45 degrees around the entire model with the airbrush. And this is going to make the entire model grey except for the recesses which will be left behind in black. And there's nothing special here, we're just applying a dark grey zenithal. And here's two models side by side. The one on the left has had the grey zenithal and the one on the right is just the black primer. So the difference is quite subtle, but it is there. Next up, we're going to start to highlight the armour plates. And to do that, I'm going to be using Citadel the Fang. And whereas in the previous step, where we were just spraying the grey all over, this time we want to be a little bit more deliberate about our sprays. And essentially what I'm doing here is I'm looking at the box art and I'm trying to hit all of the areas that are white on the box art with this colour and I'm really only trying to hit the kind of top highlights of that kind of white section that you see in the box art and trying to make sure that we leave a little bit of the grey left behind. And it doesn't really matter if you're not really that accurate here as long as you kind of get it in the general area, that should be okay. Next, we're going to apply the final highlight to the armour. And to do that, I'm going to be using Citadel Fenrisian Grey. And this time we're going to be even more sparing and even more deliberate with all of our sprays, as we only really want to be hitting the very top highlights this time. It should really only be a kind of spot highlight on some select places specifically around kind of the top part of the helmet and the backpack and the gun and the arms. And just make sure that you're leaving plenty of the previous color visible left behind. And just take your time here to make sure that you get the paint where you want it to go. 
And you may need to turn down the PSI on your compressor for your airbrush. I believe I had mine set to around 15 to 20 at this point, which is going to give you a little bit more control over your spray. Next up we're going to be using Vallejo Oily Steel and we're going to be using that to paint in all of the bits on the box art that are black. So anything that was black is now going to be painted in this oily steel. This is one of my favourite silver colours. It's a really dark and muted silver colour and it's going to be perfect for our purposes today. And I'm not really doing anything special here. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm getting a nice smooth coverage and also that I'm not getting any of the silver onto the pre-highlighted armor. The next step is to use a white of your choice and we're going to be using that to paint in all of the areas that we want to have our accent colour. I prefer to use Vallejo Off-White but that's just because it's a really nice thick white that covers in one coat generally. But any white would do here. Next up, it's time to paint in all of the accent colours. And as I said previously, I wasn't 100% sure which colour I wanted to go with for my army. So I decided to pick three nice and vibrant colours to test out. The first one I went for was Vallejo Express Nuclear Yellow. And this is a nice deep yellow that has a little bit of orange in it as well. And we're just going to apply two coats of this to all of the areas that we previously painted in white.
and then just repeat the same process for the other two models. On one of them I used Vallejo Express Cardinal Purple and on the final one I used Vallejo Express Mystic Blue. Both of which are really nice popping vibrant colours. Once you have all the accent colours painted in, it's now time to add in the weathering effects, which is going to help darken the tone of the entire model and help tie in all of the highlights that we've applied. And for this, I opted to go for Mr. Weathering Black, along with the Mr. Weathering Solvent. But to be honest, this is pretty much exactly the same as using oil paints and white spirit. And as far as I can tell, this stuff pretty much is just oil paint that has been pre-thinned down already. And you simply just want to apply this to the entire model. And just let it run where it wants to go and it should just find its way into all of the recesses and darken up the entire model. I initially added a little bit too much of the solvent into the mix and it was a little bit watery on my first attempt so I just added a little bit more of the black and went over it all again. And once you've fully covered the model, it's time now to remove some of the pigment by using a brush and some of the solvent. And because of the long drying time, you have plenty of time to actually go ahead and do this. But all you really need to do is get some of the solvent onto your brush and then apply the solvent to the top highlight areas of the model and wipe away any of the weathering pigment. Once you've done that, just wick your brush off on a paper towel and rinse and repeat until you're happy with the highlights. And just make sure you're paying focus to all of the highlight areas on the model and leave the weathering pigment in all of the recesses. And what this will do is give you a really nice smooth transition from all of the recesses to all of the highlights on the model. And once that's dried, the last thing to do is to apply an edge highlight to the entire model or as much as the model as you can be bothered doing at this stage. And obviously, the more edge highlighting you do apply, the better the model will look in the end. And I just use Citadel Fenrisi in grey for the highlight colour and just try to apply an edge highlight to as many of the edges on the model as I could. And that's the model complete. Really happy with the way all three of them turned out, but I think in the end I prefer the yellow one. And I think that's what I'm going to go for for the rest of my Tau army. I also think this colour scheme would work really well with Necrons. So that's something I may try to do in the future as well. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, don't forget to leave a comment down below on which colour you preferred, or which colour you would have used as your accent colour. But until next time, happy painting, and I'll see you in the next one.